Nowadays, many organizations use cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, etc. to run their applications. These cloud platforms also provide various services addressing common application needs so that we don't have to build and run those services ourselves. For example, we can use S3 for object storage. For publish subscribe kind of our clouds, we can use SQS. However, using these cloud platform services introduce some challenges as well. Especially testing and local development becomes a little bit challenging. In the case of AWS, there is a tool called local stack which you can use for testing and local development of applications using AWS services. On top of it, test containers provide a local stack module which further simplifies the development and testing of applications using AWS services. In this video, let us see how we can build a Spring Boot application that uses AWS S3 and SQS services. Then we will learn how we can test our application using local stack and test containers. Let's get started. We are going to follow along this testing AWS service integrations using local stack guide. We are going to create a Spring Boot application and we will use Spring Cloud AWS for interacting with the AWS services S3 and SQS. And we are going to use test containers and local stack module for testing these integrations. And also we will see how we can run the application locally using test containers and local stack as well. We have created a Spring Boot application and we have specified Spring Cloud AWS bill of material under dependency management section and then we have added Spring Cloud AWS starter S3 and SQS dependencies. And also we have added test containers local stack module for our testing and local development and also we are using a vitality library for testing asynchronous workflows. In our application, we are going to store data in an S3 bucket and also get data from S3 bucket. And we are going to use an SQS queue which we are going to send a message to and then we will implement a listener which consumes the messages from that queue and then persists the data in an S3 bucket. So let us see how we are going to implement all that logic. We have created application properties as a record which holds SQS queue name and S3 bucket name as configurable properties. And we have storage service class which is used for uploading data to an S3 bucket or downloading data from S3 buckets. So here internally we are using S3 template which is provided by Spring Cloud AWS library. This is a higher level abstraction on top of S3 client which provides convenient functions like upload, download and also we can create pre-signed URLs very easily. So we are going to use this storage service class in order to work with S3 buckets. Next we have a record called message which represents a message that we will be sending to SQS queue. So here we have message sender which has a method publish that takes a queue name and a message instance. Internally it uses SQS template to publish the message as a payload to the specified queue. And then we have message listener which has a method with at SQS listener and we are specifying what is the queue that we would like to listen to. In this case instead of hard coding the queue name we are uh, representing a property name as a reference to the queue name. So whenever somebody sends a message to that queue it will automatically consume that message and then we are taking the bucket name from the application properties and then we are taking message UUID as a key and also we are taking the message content and converting it into byte array input stream and we are using the storage service and uploading the data into the uh, bucket with the UUID as a key. So now if anyone sends a message to the SQS queue we are going to consume that message and then we are going to extract the data and store the data as a value with UUID as the key and the bucket name is configured as part of our application properties. Now that we have our implementation ready, let us see how we can use local stack and test containers for testing our application. So here I have message listener test which is nothing but a Spring Boot integration test. I have annotated with add Spring Boot test and also I am using 
test containers JUnit5 extension annotations to start the local stack container here. I am adding add test containers on the class and then I have a local stack container and annotated with add container. So when I run this test, test containers extension is taking care of starting this container automatically. And here I am specifying local stack 2.0 to create the container. And instead of hard coding the bucket name or queue name, I am taking random UUID as bucket name and queue names. Because at the time of recording this video, Spring Cloud AWS is not yet provide support for service connections, which is provided as part of Spring Boot 3.2. We are using good old dynamic property source mechanism to configure the application properties. So here I am configuring bucket name and queue name, which are nothing but random UUIDs here and also I am initializing AWS properties like region, access key and secret keys that are obtained from local stack container and also we are overriding S3 endpoint and SQS endpoints which are again obtained from local stack container and now that we have the configuration ready before executing our actual test we need to have our S3 bucket and SQS queues created. So here we are leveraging this local stack dot exec in container uh, method which can be used to run any command within the container. So local stack image comes with a pre-built uh, AWS local uh, command line utility that can be used to run any AWS CLI commands. So here we are creating S3 a bucket and also here we are creating an SQS queue. So we have all the properties configured and we have our S3 bucket and SQS queue created. Now coming to the actual test, we have uh, auto wide storage service, message sender and application properties. So here in our test, first we are creating an instance of message and then we are publishing that message to the queue. And then we are leveraging the availability library for pulling whether that message is stored in the S3 bucket or not. We are taking a poll interval of 2 seconds and we are waiting at most 10 seconds and then we are ignoring if there are any exceptions while executing this logic and here we are asserting we are getting the data from uh, same bucket and with same UUID and we are expecting the content to be hello world. So it is going to try at most 10 seconds and then see whether this test passed or not. Now let us execute the test and see. So here the test is passed. We have seen how we can test an application that is using AWS services using test containers and local stack. How about running the application locally? Spring Boot 3.0 introduced the concept of service connection that makes it easy to run the application locally by leveraging the dependencies like databases, message brokers, etc. running as a Docker containers using test containers. However, as I mentioned, Spring Cloud AWS uh, 301 is not at supporting the service connection concept. But we can still start the container and then register the properties as system properties and then run the application. So let us see how we can run the application locally. So here I have created a test application under SRC test Java and here I have implemented a method called setup in which I am creating an instance of local stack container and then starting the container and creating uh, S3 bucket and SQS queue just like the way we did in our test and then registering all the properties using system.properties. Okay. Here we have configured all the uh, AWS properties like region, access key, secret key and S3 SQS endpoints as a system property. So once we have all these properties configured, we can start the application using Spring application from this application main is nothing but our actual application within SRC main Java. So now we can start the application and we can run the application locally. However, before running the application locally, I have created a message controller, which is nothing but a REST controller with couple of API endpoints. 
The first one is a post mapping to slash API slash messages, which takes message body as a request payload. And we are publishing that message to our SKS queue. So according to our implementation, once we publish the message as a payload to this queue, we are going to consume that message and then store the data uh, in our S3 bucket with the UUID as a key. And we have another API endpoint to fetch that message for the given UUID. So here we are using storage service and trying to fetch the data from the bucket using that UUID. So we are returning both UUID and content. So now let us run our application. And once the application is started, we can use any tools like Postman and make a request to our post API endpoint. Here I am specifying a random UUID and specifying the content as test containers plus local stack is awesome. So here I am sending a request and I got the response with this UUID. And now I should be able to make a request to this API endpoint here and get the response with the content test containers plus local stack is awesome. So the application is working. So this way we can not only test our application using test containers and local stack, we can also run the application locally. If you want to follow along this video, I would recommend you to go to this testing AWS service integrations using local stack guide and you can follow along this guide or you can check out the code and run the application locally.